dueling flight sims, or how I learned to stop sightseeing and start bombing and exploding. Microsoft Flight Simulator is great if you want to visit famous places. Maybe even do a little showboating. It's also good for visiting familiar spots, but as soon as you try to do something interesting, or something that's not even that interesting, something boring even. Or to spice things up with a cheeky water landing. And that's why you need a good, splody combat flight sim to keep you entertained. One that will bend your props, but only stop the game when you're wrecked. Or exploded. One that doesn't have to tell you the airframe has been overstressed because there are adequate visual cues. One that teaches you to be careful of trees after flying under bridges. A flight sim should also teach you not to cut corners. Or at least be sophisticated enough to let you get away with it if you're careful. And of course, it should allow everyone to acquire the fundamentals of skip bombing, which is a key skill in this modern age.